Welcome to TDG, the story of safe transport. Chapter 1, Introduction Every day we transport thousands of shipments of dangerous goods on Canadian roads. You might be one of the people responsible for packing, labeling, documenting, loading, driving or delivering these products. In order to do this safely, you need to follow the Transportation of Dangerous Goods, the TDG regulations. Okay, Dave, I have the ink that you ordered, and the rest of the stuff's no problem. Well, that's great. Uh, can I get one of those new airflow testers, too? Yeah, sure. And I'll try to sort out all the paperwork so it's ready for your shipment. And be careful when you're using it. The label says it's corrosive. Thanks very much. Sure. Okay, take care. Good morning, Peterson. Catherine speaking. Hey, Catherine. Ryan from Printers, Inc. Hi, Ryan. How are you today? Good. Listen, I have a rushed order going to the Northeast. Can you do it? Sure, no problem. First thing this morning work for you? Yeah, it's great. Listen, I'll get it ready right away. And some of it's dangerous goods. Uh, no problem. Our drivers are trained and certified to dangerous goods. Thanks. Appreciate it. This film and the rest of your training program will cover the basics and then it's up to your employer to give you more specific training depending on your job and the products you work with. Let's start with an overview of the topics we're going to cover. Everyone involved in the transportation of dangerous goods has to understand the hazards. This includes shippers, handlers, drivers and first responders. They also need to recognize the dangers shown by labels and placards carry a valid training certificate, handle dangerous goods carefully to prevent leaks and spills, and know what to do in case of an emergency. Besides these basic responsibilities, the person who prepares the shipment has to look up the classification of the dangerous goods, select the right container, make sure the shipment is packaged securely, and fill out the shipping document. The shipper is also responsible for making sure the safety marks are in place, including labels and markings on containers and placards for the truck. The driver has a lot of responsibilities, like making sure the shipper has filled out the document correctly and checking the containers to see that the labels and markings match the shipping document. A driver can't accept a shipment if the document or safety marks are incorrect or if the container is not in good condition. The driver also attaches placards to the truck if necessary, makes sure the dangerous goods are loaded and secured properly, and carries the shipping document with the goods. Even the person who unloads the shipment requires training to understand the hazards shown by labels and placards, handle dangerous goods safely, and know what to do in case of a leak or spill. As soon as you've been trained to your employer's satisfaction, you'll get a TDG certificate. It should include your employer's name and address, as well as a brief description of the training you received. The certificate isn't valid until it's signed by you and your employer, and it's good for three years from the date it's issued. The certificate is not transferable, so if you change companies, your new employer will need to make sure you're trained and give you a new certificate. Self-employed people can issue their own certificates. This means they have the responsibilities of both an employer and an employee. Once you have your certificate, keep it with you at work. You'll need to show it if an inspector asks. These TDG inspectors could be police officers, way scale operators, or full-time dangerous goods specialists. They have the authority to search shipments or trucks. They can take samples, make copies of documents, issue tickets and fines, even seize and hold shipments, or refuse entry of dangerous goods into Canada. It's important to cooperate with any reasonable request an inspector makes. What they really want to know is that you and your employer are doing your best to comply with the TDG regulations. Some inspectors come to shipping facilities, but most enforcement takes place on the highways, which is where they find mistakes made by shippers, especially on shipping documents. Inspectors will check to make sure that your training certificate is current and valid. The shipping document is complete and correct. Dangerous goods are labeled and marked properly, and the right containers have been used and they're in good condition. 
They'll also check that the vehicle is placarded if necessary and the dangerous goods are loaded, secured and transported safely. The penalty for not complying can be anything from a fine to a jail term. Anybody who's involved can be charged, right from a part-time employee to the president of your company.